Good morning, everyone. It's Eric with His and Hers HHQ. Um, first and foremost, let me apologize. It's <laughs> It's been a while. Um, things have been absolutely crazy. And I know from, uh, well, if you've watched one of the last two videos, um, you, you know, the last, well, few weeks have been crazy. Um, and the weather hasn't worked with me, so paint and primer hasn't worked with me. There, it, it's just, it, and then on top of that, getting sick. Um, I had RSV, of course, but then to just add all that up, it, it you know, I got hit with one of those monster sinus infections and a dual ear, ear infection. So I've been really out of it um, and absolutely behind. All of that being said, um, again, I apologize. Um, but why am I holding this? This has nothing to do um, with everything that I had been working on. Well, what you see before you, of course, is that Tester's 124 scale Ultra Platinum Detail Series Model T Bucket. Um, as many of you all know, uh, I don't know if you were around um, last year, caught the video de uh, dealing with this. This was actually a garage sale find. And um, it was... An interesting find for sure. Everything, um, it appeared to be there or appears to be there. And, um, the young lady that I bought it from, uh, relayed the story that, you know, her dad bought and collected, um, model kits, and a lot of them, he, you know, he had built a, quite a few of them, um, and then, um, this older lady comes out, and she talks about how, yeah, her husband had just passed, like, four years, or four months previously, and they were trying to thin a thing, a few things down to make, uh, help make ends meet. Well, I was happy to get the kit, but it was one of those cases of I I knew precisely what I wanted to do with the kit. I wanted to get it, build it, and return it. I, you know what I'm saying? So that's what this is. It's um, the Mr. Hugh Freet Tribute Build, and I'm going to do some of the uh, build right here with you because it's already, well, pretty well pre-painted and stuff. I'm not going to go as, as all out on it as I might normally because, well, for a skill level 2 kit, it's got some intimidation factor. Um, uh, it's a metal body. It's a, there's a lot of screw together stuff. So it's just, um, it, it goes together pretty easily. Um, you do need glue. Uh, and I mean, the only thing I might do is do some touch ups, a few washes and dry brushes and give it a little bit more of, um, uh, a used feel, I, I suppose. But um, I'm getting this done up because I ran into the young lady I purchased this from. And she told me that, you know, they things weren't working out. And so they had to pack, uh, were, are, are in the process of packing up the house. So I want to get this here done and get it to them as quickly as possible. So this will be a quick couple of videos, I suppose. Um, this one, and I'll get a little bit of work done here on video. And then, um, and then I'll finish up off camera and do a quick reveal. So this is where we're at. 
when I bought it, the engine halves were all ready together. All I did was just finish assembling all of that. It took me about 30 minutes to get all that and get some play in there. Let me see here. Here we go. All right. If you happen to own one of these kits and are considering building it, I've got a whoop, tip for you. <laughs> Luckily, these things, once they are dry, they like to hold together. Here we go. All right, where this upper radiator hose goes into, I want to show you right here on the directions. It states to place the upper radiator hose in the upper hole right here. There are three holes in the front of the block. It shows you right here clearly to put the upper radiator hose there. But if you put the upper radiator hose in that hole, like it shows right here in the instructions, then you can't fit the belt and pulleys on, on there. What I'm going to tell you is once you get the um, engine uh, halves together and you get the uh, intake put in place, pardon me, and you get the intake manifold put in place, then you put it because uh, then you put in the upper radiator hose. Because if you look at the bottom of the intake here, there's a little, little notch, and that's where that piece fits into. It actually rests on top of the block in that little notch. So be sure you're following that and um, go from there. But otherwise, everything else goes together pretty well. And it doesn't look too bad, actually. Um... The wire, uh, the valve covers are not on, uh, not in place, and the uh, wires aren't in place because you have to wait until it's actually in or uh, on the chassis. So as you can see, it is a pre-painted metal body. And this next piece that we're actually going to require is the chassis for the next step here. Here we go. It's actually a really pretty color. If it were up to me, and this were my kit, and I were not going to be doing what I'm doing with it, I would consider stripping the metal. I'm not sure how I would do that, but I would strip the paint and go my own way with it. Oh, pardon me. That's what I get for being three o'clock in the morning. Good night. Um, anyway, so let me see. Let me, um, there's supposed to be. A couple of bits here. See, I'm totally like not with it right now. I'm still kind of foggy in the brain, I suppose you could say. Oh, here we go. Give me a minute. And I'm totally not prepared for this, but. Hey, that's what makes life ex so exciting, is to not be prepared for everything. Because then it's always a little bit of, a bit of fun little chaos. Right? Yeah, so again, this one will just be a quick, uh, quick video. If I can actually see due to the glare.
It's kind of hard to I think it wants that little ring there. So let's very carefully clip that off. Try not to lose it. And we will get this bit attached. Do the chassis where it's supposed to go. I think. Okay, now, according to the instructions, that's supposed to go right like so and that ring goes on the end and nifty okay well i told you it was going to be a quick little bit of stuff here let me see if we can get this here mounted right. Because once again, this is all according to the instructions. Let's see, I just loosely tacked this bottom hose in place because I wanted to be able to adjust as needed okay let me unpack it Now that should go precisely how it's supposed to go. Of course, again, the beings as it should go versus it will go. See, now I feel like a moron sitting here doing this, but... I know I'm not the only one in the community that has this kind of issue. So, while I'm sitting here feeling like an idiot, I'm going to set that down before I break it. And I will get to it off camera. So I can have my tongue sticking out and really concentrate. So, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. I'm Eric with His and Hers HHQ. If you haven't yet, head on over to Facebook and follow us at His and Hers Hobby Headquarters. Take a moment, like, subscribe, share the content, share the love of scale model building. It truly is a medium limited only by your imagination. You build for you. And as always, take a moment, comment below. I really do appreciate the support. This here's a phenomenal community. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, all my old subscribers and new subscribers, you all are a fantastic bunch, and I very, very much appreciate it. Um, I, I mean, what can I say? Uh, you stuck around while I was MIA for the last couple of weeks, and I really do appreciate it. Um, again, I, I can't thank y'all enough. Uh, I've watched many, many videos and, uh, uh many of y'all's videos and I've been 
<laughs> been entertained. I'm just, I'm sorry I've been missing out. I'm Eric. Have a good day.